Hi everyone, welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper and we are doing another Blessings Box. Before I get started, I just want to explain for those of you who don't know, um, Blessing Boxes are um, purge boxes that my crafty friends send to me to offer to all of you. Right? We do lots of giveaways, both here on YouTube and on the Facebook group, and it is a ton of fun. Not to mention, very, very uplifting to see others um, bring joy to our community, because this hobby is not cheap. It is not cheap. Not even a little bit. In fact, it's more expenses as the day goes by. So, um... To those people who donate, I want to say thank you. Um, we do it a little bit different this year. I am doing large flat rate, uh, well, I think they're actually medium flat rate boxes, but they're the large box. Uh, yeah, yeah, fits a 12 by 12 paper. So, um, so that one, the post is a little bit less, and two, the giveaways are bigger. So because of that, we're doing it every other week. And as I explained in the last couple videos, and I will stop saying this every time, I just want to make it clear to my followers and subscribers who have been with me for a while. Um, we're doing it every other week now. So you have two weeks um, in between the post of the uh, videos and the giveaways. And the reason that is, is because my life gets crazy and it allows you guys still get a week to comment. You get two chances to win. We'll discuss that at the end of the video. And, um, it allows me to film ahead so that if one of my kids gets sick or I need to run to the store or whatever, the video is posting on time. I do my very, very best. And you will see in my content that I have a lot of premiere videos. That's just so that they can't be viewed before they publish. Um, to keep my obligations and I'm an organized OCD. <laughs> So it makes my heart happy. Plus, doing it every two weeks, we are giving away larger prizes. These prizes are ginormous. They really are. And they should be because you guys are so amazing. Behind me, let me count. One, two, three, four, five. I have six purge boxes. Yeah, that you guys have sent me to share with others. Now, I want to make it very clear, especially in this video, um, that what you see here, yes, this is a large purge. This is actually two boxes. Um, Miss Sarah C donated this week. And, um, but I don't want you to think that it has to be big like this. It does not. You guys have seen me do many videos and everyone contributes this. When you watch a commercial in this or any of my other videos, you are contributing to the joy that is being sent in these giveaways because it helps me pay for postage. I don't get a whole lot, but every little bit counts. 50 cents, it adds up. 50 cents at a time, right? Penny at a time, it works. It's what makes it work. It makes us um, be able to offer these to our international um, scrappy friends, crafty friends, however you want to view it. And so thank you. Thank you very much. Even if you're just watching the commercials, if you're shopping on my Amazon affiliate, um, you know what? It, it all adds up and makes what we do possible. It truly does. So some people will just send me a couple stick stickers or some extra embellishments when they're doing the swaps they make a few extra those go into these purge boxes um there's a lot more in these boxes that you guys actually see like I try to make these videos kind of short but it never happens one I talk too much and two yeah sometimes I'll be putting going through things and I'll be like oh that would go really good in that theme box and I will put it in the box in the giveaway box so um Lots and lots of fun. I want to thank everyone, including you that are watching this video right now and in the future, in the past, it all, it all matters. And it truly shows a loving and giving heart, which you guys know is one of my main, my main concepts. There's no wrong way and give and receive with a loving heart. So, um, thank you to all of you. So let's have some fun. So Sarah C., she messaged me and she sent these. Now, you guys have to understand that I, because I film ahead, I probably got this, I believe, in December. Like, 
yeah. And everyone is always so kind and so gracious to understand that I don't open these until it's time for me to film. I literally have stacks of purge boxes behind me. <laughs> you should have seen my closet filled up when all my family was here visiting. I'm just saying it looked like I had moved my whole room in there. It was pretty funny. My brother-in-law who stayed in this room um, gave me a hard time. <laughs> so anyway, um, definitely a lot of fun. Um, all you have to do is comment on this video. We'll talk about how you get a second chance, you know, a second entry to get your name drawn. And at the end, we will draw the last Blessing Box winner for Blessing Box 43 because this is Blessing Box 44. 44. And you guys know, I did Blessing Boxes before we started keeping track. So I bet we're over 60. Yeah, I guarantee we are. All right, so let's just have some fun. Um, there's going to be a lot of glare because there's a lot of plastic. So I'm going to apologize, but we will never get through this video if I take them all out. Because Miss Sarah sent us collections. And we do have a paper stack, though. I love going through the paper stacks. It's fun. All right, so I'm just going to go through them, and we're going to have fun. You will hear me say, this will go in this kit. Um, I'm building a butterfly kit. I'm building a um, up-in-the-sky kit. Um, yeah, you'll hear me say all those things because I build up big um, themes, kind of. That's kind of how I've been doing it, and <laughs> why stop now? All right, so this is Here or There Simple Stories, beautiful papers. Very fall, so I do think I will have this in my fall giveaway section. Um, I'm going to put this right up here. Yeah, I had to buy this little thing. It's on wheels, thank you, the Lord, because it gets heavy. This paper gets heavy, and I have it sectioned off by themes and kits and you name it. Yeah, so this will go definitely. It gives me a fall vibe, so we will put this in our fall section. You'll be seeing that. This is a Valentine simple story. It's an actual page kit with everything to create these four pages. Isn't that cool? Now, I don't know if she used parts of them and that's okay if she did, 100%, right? But you can build on it whatever is still left in here. Again, I'm not gonna open every single one of these. I will tell you, I know for a fact, a lot of these are brand new. I mean, this not one sticker is missing off of this, not one, okay? And I do know that some people have access to really cheap scrapbooking stores, um, outlets, I don't, and a lot of us don't, so um, amazing. <laughs> like, I wish I did, well, but maybe I don't, I don't know. All right, so this is Simple Stories I Am. She obviously used this one, totally okay, right? We will we will take what we can get, um, and gorgeous. This is one I would probably set aside because um, I have some projects that are gonna be giveaways that I want to like make some ephemera. So maybe I would set that aside and we'll make some ephemera out of the leftovers, okay? Um, we'll see. We'll, we'll fit it wherever we can fit it. Now, this one here is another Simple Stories line. Um, doesn't look like there's a ton in here, but it's Boho Baby, okay? That the sticker sheet looks to be intact. Let me see. You know, a lot of us, we don't use the sticker sheet. Some of us like to make our own ephemera. Oh, some are, there's a couple missing, but it is a Boho Baby. I'm not going to take the time. This is absolutely stunning. Let's see. It is by... Collection Kit Good Old Days by Amber Laboo. Laboo, I've never heard. She even gives it an example. Those are gorgeous papers. Oh, look at the deep, rich colors. To know me is to know I love saturated color. Like the deeper the color is, the happier my heart is. I'm not a pastel -y girl. Now it doesn't mean I don't use it, I do. But oh, that is just so beautiful, that deep blue. That is a pretty collection. I've never heard of that before. Oh, look at the stripe on the back of it. That's pretty. A Day in the Life, Echo Park. Um, very um, summery, spring vibes. So probably be seeing that. Love a cactus. You know me. I live in the desert. Looks like there might be a scrap in there, but oh, how beautiful. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> That's how you know how big this stack is. I just whacked it. Go. Whack the camera. All right, craft and create 100%. This whole collection, it looks brand new by Cartabella. Um, look, the sticker sheet has not been touched and you will be seeing this in our sewing kit giveaway when it's time we have enough to give away. This whole collection will go right in there. Um, Echo Park, Big Dream. Looks like there's a few papers in that. Um, little Boy. So I, again, I'm not gonna sit here and take them all out. <laughs> Just 
will never get done. These, I believe, are maybe all the same. In loving memory, cherish, kind of like a, um, let's see what else this is. Maybe a heritage vibe is what I'm getting. Let me see if I can pull this. There we go. So sweet memories, yeah. So sympathy, maybe to make sympathy cards. Um, grateful for you. I don't, let's see. I can't really tell if they're all the same paper. Yes, they are. So several of these papers. So I think this would go good in a heritage. Um, also maybe a card kit. So I don't know. We'll see where that ends up. Then we have a beautiful Amy Tangerine paper pad. I'm just going to flip it. Oh, how cute is that floral? So pretty. Amy Tangerine. Okay. So now a lot of people might be shocked for this. If you watch my Pink Fresh Friday, you know I struggle with Pink Fresh Friday. Amy Tangerine, um, Pink Paisley. I struggle with those lines and because a lot of them are pastel -y, right but look at this this is deep now i'm not sure i love this one but um love it love it deep saturated colors it makes my heart happy i love it i don't know why i love it so much maybe because fall is my favorite time of year i don't know i don't know this is my favorite red gorgeous red my favorite red <laughs> just saying <laughs> you know we have those like ginger trivia games where we do free page kit giveaways. So these are the things you have to know. <laughs> okay, this one has a lot of scraps in it. Love, love that Sarah did that. I do the same thing. I really do sometimes. Um, so, and I actually have the six by eight, a few pages left in that. I may just throw it in there when we give this away. I don't really know where this will end up. I will tell you now that we're doing flat rate boxes, a lot of these paper pads end up in those flat rate boxes. And I will show you at the end what this week's flat rate boxes. Um, pretty little studio, really a spring vibe. Oh, here we go. Now, I don't know that it's all in there. Oh, that's a cool paper. Oh, that's really cool. I really do like that a lot. Some umbrellas could put in the spring, Easter section. Um, I see fall all day long. Um, this is Nectar Wild Wild Honey by Photo Play. Let's see if I can turn it around. Maybe there's a sticker sheet in here. I'm thinking there is. I don't really know. I have not seen this line. Um, here we go. Let's see. I see the sticker sheet. Maybe I can get it. It'll give us a vibe, right? There we go, Wild Honey, brand new sticker sheet. Isn't that gorgeous? A few, few missing, looks like maybe a bee, a couple bees missing, but that's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love yellow and teal together. I really do like that color combination, really pretty. Then we've got Photo Play um, Serendipity. So all that's really here is the stickers and then a few sheets of paper. Now I will tell you, um, I would probably just take the sticker sheet out and I'd probably put these little pieces in my scraps to make ephemera with for my um, scraps to embellishment series that you guys watch all the time. Just because these pieces get hung up in the thing. They really do. Okay, so we have A Pirate's Life by Echo Park. I actually have a pirate kit started. So I'm just going to stick the whole thing in there. Why not? Why not? We have a Christmas um, line, My Mind's Eye. Oh, what fun. Very pretty. I'll put that in the Christmas, obviously. Oh, look at this veggie paper. Oh, I might have to, I'm, I might have to message Sarah and ask if I can keep that. And it's got chicken wire, y'all. I love that. And this reminds me of a quilt. That is gorgeous. I have never heard of LDRS Creative, but that is really pretty. I might have to just look it up and buy the collection for myself. I always feel guilty if I keep something. Like I really do feel guilty. Every once in a while, I will keep something, but compared to what I get, trust me, I couldn't. I will <laughs> I'll grow my room in like two days. <laughs> Summer Farmhouse, I have this collection. It is a fun, beautiful collection. It, it Happy, happy vibes, right? And we'll add this to our summer kit. Then we have a 4th of July kit ongoing. And then on the 4th of July, I just give away everything that's in that kit. Um, this is Simple Stories, and it is um, Hometown USA. 
divine. Isn't that just divine? I can't help it. I don't know if you can see, but it's a little print. Almost has, um, this reminds me of quilts. Why is it? Oh, I could almost use this in the quilt block series. I won't, but it's gorgeous. Definitely going in the 4th of July. All right. Um, Firecracker by Bo Bunny and Photo Play. It looks like all uh, 4th of July papers. I think it's probably a mix and match, so we will just put it in the 4th of July. Um, down memory lane page kit, you get all the ephemera. Gorgeous, gorgeous. You know, if you're a first time scrapper, you can buy these. So look up down memory lane and dot com and you can buy, it has the embellishments, it has the title, it'll have everything for you. It's a great place to start, it truly is. Um, summer, 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 looks like pink paisley. Um, gorgeous, these are really pretty. American Crafts um, is pink paisley, right? Yeah, American Crafts, okay. <laughs> Pink Paisley is another one of those. It's hard for me to use. Not going to lie. It's very whimsy and it's, I, I'm just, I don't know. It's just not my thing. That doesn't mean it's not good. Just, yeah, I struggle. I still use it sometimes. Don't, don't think when I say that, that I don't use it. Um, creative memories here. Looks like maybe got some cut aparts. Okay. Project recipe. Um, oh, there's a bunch of papers in here. Some Echo Park. We have an outdoor kit for this summer. <gasps> Amen. You know, I love the mountains. I just don't like the snow. I do miss the mountains. I'm not going to lie. Look at the back of that paper. That's pretty. There's beachy vibes. Looks like I'm going to have to sort these by theme. Oh, look at that blue wood grain. Definitely getting the beach theme. Um, here is a one canoe paper. Gosh, it's been a while since I've seen that paper. Long while. Okay. Oh, native vibes. I love the arrows. Those are wonderful. Wonderful. And the canoe is outdoor. We put that in outdoor. Kind of get ocean and outdoor. So I would sit. Okay. These are all upside down. Let me see. Look at that. Boardwalk paper. That's what it reminds me of. All right. Let's see if I can turn them. If I can turn them. I will. Okay. Let's do that. All right. So on the beach. There's that side, um, paper house paper. Very story-based, right? Then we have just a blue card stop. Oh, that one has a pretty little um, shim. Shine, shin, sh sheen? <laughs> okay, mm, don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. Imagine is, oh, like the B-side. See, a lot of these papers, even if you would struggle with this one, which this would go in the outdoor, you can use that B-side on almost anything, right? Echo Park, I have this line, Summer Adventure. It is a lot of fun. Um, life is better at the lake. Again, outdoor, kayaking, beautiful wood grain. Um, this one here, I think we can move on, is I have a picnic. I literally just started a picnic kit. I can't wait to give it away. It's so fun. It makes me smile. That's a lot of fun. This is um, a doodle bug paper okay photo play pretty then we have this whole beach line um single-sided miss kate cuttables huh I don't, I don't think i've ever seen any of their lines i've been scrapbooking over 20 plus 25 plus years and i'm still learning products i you know i i really am those are cute papers definitely beachy vibe right we have a beach kit going on um, and then all these cut aparts. And I'm pretty sure these are simple stories. Like I'm 99% sure I recognize this. I think I have this line. Okay. All right. So then we have, let's see here, Bella Boulevard, a few papers, Bella Boulevard. Um, it looks like maybe an outdoor line. I would probably just break this down and put it in different kits. That's what I would probably do. We have a simple story, Heart and Home. I have this kit, love this. Includes a sticker, sticker book. Wow, Sarah, that is so sweet. I mean, did Sarah not just go beyond in her purge? Like she just blessed us so much. Then this is a moment layout kit from Scrapbook Generations. Love Scrapbook Generations. Truly, truly, truly do. Isn't that gorgeous? Pretty fun boy colors is what that reminds me of. Okay, so let's let's get this off. I'm gonna flip this. Now we're at the stack of papers. This first one here will definitely add to our 4th of July kit. Before we know it, it's gonna be 4th of July, isn't it? Okay, so let's just start flipping through. 
So, 4th of July. Oh, I know this paper. Why do I know this paper? Oh, it's a doodle bug. I think I have, yeah, I bought two or three of these because I like this bright blue. Yeah. Um, then we have, is this fancy pants? Who is this? Who is this? Are these all going to be upside down? No. Um, I don't know who this is by. Made in the USA. That's all it says. Yeah. Copyright. Customs. No, I don't know. But it's pretty. Okay. Fourth of July. Um, would be really good. Ooh. I've been put this in our service kit. I have a armed forces kit. Oh, let me try to do it without crying. It means a lot to me. And so it will be given away on either Labor Day or Memorial Day. And I don't know if you can see that there, but it's gorgeous. It will end up in there. Um, very proud of our servicemen. And I don't care what country you're from. You should be proud of them. They give you what you have in your country. Celebrate. Bo Bunny. Just like that. Okay. Then we've got a beautiful teal. Oh, you could fussy cut these all day long. Butterfly kit. You <laughs> know. I'm determined to have that butterfly kit. I love this native print. Some more floral. Very pretty. Um, looks like maybe, no, this is just all Prima paper. Prima, Prima. Gorgeous. Oh, I can, oh, my crafty friend Terry would love this. She would love these blues. Very pretty. Okay. I'm just, I'm looking right here with you. Cut apart. Maybe I'll just do a Prima kit. Just Prima. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. Then this here, oh, she must have used a piece. Let's see here. Um, Maggie Holmes. Yeah, Maggie Holmes is another one mm, I have a hard time with. I do, but it's very whimsy, very pretty. I'm not saying it's not. This one I'm not, I'm not, not liking. I love the deep, rich jewel tones. So fun, so fun. Let's see here, let's keep going to Vicky Booten. I actually have this line, it's Christmas line. What's it called? Um, Warm Wishes. Yep, a couple of those. Vicky Booten, Vicky Booten, okay. So all these would end up in the Christmas. We'd do a little Christmas purge. I'm going to be doing a huge purge in July. We're gonna call it Christmas in July because I get so much Christmas paper that, yeah, I have to do that. Let me see if I can flip these around. Okay, some more. This is Day's special. Ooh, that's a pretty ledger. Remember to look at lines for ledger paper. Doesn't have to be used on a Christmas layout, y'all. It doesn't. Yeah, just saying. I'm all over here harping at you. Several Vicky Booten. Very pretty. Very pretty. Use it for whatever you like. Okay. Here is um, Sweet Rush. I've had that as well. Um, that's pretty mixed media. Another one. Okay. There we go. All Vicky Bootens. Definitely going to have to have a Vicky Booten purge, right? Okay. Just like that. Some cut aparts. Lots of pretty Vicky Booten. Very pretty. Gorgeous. Ta da! This, I'm going to say some of these might have been out of a Vicky Booten paper pad because they're very Vicky Booten, right? Let's stay, let's wonder. That's neat. Oh, I like this one. It's pretty. Pretty, pretty. So I keep on flipping through them. Gorgeous. I might keep one of these. Isn't that a teeny vibe? I think that is. I think it's pretty. Okay, got some more. Let's see. I'm trying to not make you dizzy over here. That's a very pretty paper. Very pretty. I don't know about the B-side, but I definitely like that red. That's my favorite. We've got some pretty smaller papers. Traveling vibe, and this is some pretty hearts. Okay, paper pad. Oh, you know where that's going. It's gonna go in our service kit. Very pretty. Okay, some more. I would probably add a lot of these to that Vicky Booten kit. Maybe I'll just make a kit. Heidi Swamp. Okay, hang on. Another one of that one. Oops, love that. Okay. okay. I've already seen several of these. Finder U. Very pretty. Okay. 
weekend vibes. It's cute. Oops. Oh, I like that one. That gives me oceany vibes. Very pretty. Looky here. What could could you do that? You could. You could do a layout like that. <gasps> that would be cool. I like that. There's a couple of those. Some hearts. Pretty, pretty. Um, let's see, crepe paper, marigold. That's what this is out of. Mixed media vibe, good school paper. Okay, and then a pretty green, more marigold. Um, Hustle and Heart by American Crafts. Yeah, Amy Tangerine Papers, great travel. Zoo, if you were going to the zoo. That's a gorgeous color, isn't it? Very pretty. Some more. All the same line. Very pretty. Oh, I love this color. If you look close, it has that mixed media going on. It's very faint, but it is there. Very pretty. This is my kind of floral. I like tiny floral like this. Isn't that pretty? Farmhouse, very pretty. Some coffee, some more coffee bits. Okay, this is some more Amy Tangerine. This is Vintage Blessings, pretty paper. Okay, pumpkin, all these will end up probably in our fall. That's pretty striped. Don't look at it too close though. I've had this Cardabella line a couple of times. Very pretty lotus flowers. Is that what they're called? Um, very pretty. Love that blue. Okay, and we have another You Are My Sunshine. Um, I don't think they're all in here, but it looks like there are bits. I think that's, yeah, that's what this came out of. It's like that. Pretty, pretty. And, and last, Amy Tangerine. Ooh, that's a pretty pink. Has that mixed media in there too. Okay. So let's draw the winner and then I'm going to show you. I want to thank Sarah again. This was a more than generous purge box. So giving and you will truly bring many people joy. Thank you so much for your generosity. I can't say that enough. And I meant what I said. Even if you just watch the commercials in these videos, you are helping bless other people. You truly are. All right, let's pick the winner for Blessing Box 43. I'll come back and we'll talk about how you can enter to win what you're about to see as the giveaway. I'll show you everything in the perch box. All right, hang on. All right, everyone, it's time to draw the winning winner of Blessing Box 43. If you're the winner, um, reach out to me via Facebook Messenger on Ginger's Corner Facebook group and or my email is in the description of this video. The Facebook group link is also in this video. I do my best to have all your information there. The winner of Blessing Box 43 is Debbie Blackburn. Debbie, reach out to me. I will hold the blessing box for two weeks. And um, if you don't claim it by then, I'll re-give it away. So let's see what you're going to be able to win this week in Blessing Box 44. Congratulations. All right. Congratulations to the winner of Blessing Box 43. Make sure you reach out to me. And we are going to have some fun. So... You get two chances to win. Comment in this video or go over to Ginger's Facebook corner, um, Ginger's Corner Facebook group, <laughs> and you can comment on the post of this video that's on that um, Facebook page. Then your name gets in the drawing twice, and that's how you get chances to win. I hope you have lots of luck, and let's show you what you're going to win. So I've got some, now these are several blessing boxes that have donated to this price. So thank you to everyone. Um, you're gonna get some gems and some pearls. I guess they're pearls. Then I have a bunch of ephemera from the recent um, uh, winter swap. So anything winter, these are from your fellow crafters that do the swaps over on Ginger's um, Corner Facebook group. I have some blue pearls, okay. I'm gonna give you a pack of these invitations. It was, these were, I think in the last Blessing Box video or the one before, um, kind of separated them out into different spots because this is going to be a winter theme kit and you need to comment winter bliss. You can just say winter bliss. You can use it, yeah, tell me if you like winter, however you want to, but you need to use the words winter bliss to be entered to win, okay? Both here 
and on the Facebook group. Um, so here are some beautiful gem hearts blue then here this kind of gave me just a wintry vibe I, just the swoosh when the snow blows yeah lived in montana there's snow drifts are no joke um so this is a martha stewart stencil there is a couple of them this is what it all looks like brand new that someone donated then we have a beautiful stamp set we all need a cup of tea when it's super cold outside just like that um so there is that one. There is also this one, just a bunch of um, odds and ends, like mixed media vibe. And then a whole pack of cut aparts just for this one. Then I've also got a book because when it's cold outside, a lot of people like to read. So this is a die to use. Then I also included, let me see if I can get this open, this little girl die. And if I have the... Um, uh, I print off for it, then I will show it, but isn't she pretty? That is what it will create. This is the die set off of Tina. Let's see here. Then I've created a couple of winter page kits, okay? Now I'm not gonna show every single one, but I will show the winter ones because that's what we're commenting, right? Now these were made from several different boxes over time throughout the year. We're gonna be right in the middle of winter, right? So this is this page kit. Now, a page kit can be up to, I've had 20 pages in a page kit because they just all go together. But that is this one here. This is a small page kit, okay? So there's that one. In fact, I'll just set it here because I'll, I'll put it back in. Here is a teal vibe page kit, okay? Let's see, da-da-da. And I will leave these in the baggies. So, but once you get them, do whatever you like with them. Here is some beautiful winter chipboard from Echo Park. Then we have these papers in this kit. Okay, let me let me fan them out. Here, there we go. Have a beautiful snow um, vibe. Isn't that a pretty pretty page kit? A couple of these that you could use. Absolutely gorgeous winter page kit. Okay. Now, I have so many winter, I mean floral page kits, that I just tried to pick the ones that gave me like cold blue, purplish winter vibes. This page kit here um, reminds me of pretty winter colors. So um, these are the papers that you will get. There are three of those, several. See how some of them have lots of papers, some of them just have a few. We've got that pretty red, um, this pretty deep blue, um, a pink, because I feel like the pink will go with that paper. Now, obviously my inspiration paper was the floral paper, right? And so when I'm making a page kit, I literally will say, okay, these two look good together. That looks good with that. Absolutely, it works, yes. So I just go down the line, and when I feel like I have enough papers for that page kit, well, that one's done, right? So there's that beautiful, I'm calling it a winter floral page kit, okay? Then this is also gives me winter vibes. It has a lot of blue, purple tones. Those are colors that I use a lot when I'm um, doing winter layouts. So I feel like that goes very well. That goes very well. That's just what I, I do, okay? Okay, then a couple of these. Pretty little page kit. This one's not as big. Very pretty, okay? So, oh, is there one more? Yep, one more blue, okay? So there's that one. Then we have a pretty purple winter floral kit. This one is a very happy kit. I remember making this one, it's fun. Okay, so once again, this is my inspiration paper. I feel like it looks very good with that stripe. Isn't that just pretty? I think it's pretty. Those two papers together, they just look good. Then we have that pop of orange that is in this paper. That one's more of a neutral. Um, what else? I, I feel more. And then another blue. So see, very pretty with each one. Looks great, okay? There's that purple floral kit. And then I've included things that we had in today's blessings box for Miss Sarah. So here is this, before we know it, it's gonna be March, it's gonna be spring. I'm just gonna give you everything that she had in this kit here, okay? Ephemera, everything that's in there. Um, 
Valentine's, right? This is going to be the first week of February when you guys see this. So the Simple Stories um, Valentine's kit, this cute little boy kit, um, this Simple Stories that includes the ephemera that goes with it. We are going to include that one. I am. Then this whole gin hat fill paper pad is also going to be in the box. That's a lot. This is why we're doing two weeks now at a time because it is a lot, but we are able to do it because everyone is so generous with um, the things that they um, no longer have space for or, you know, I buy collections and sometimes I get tired of playing with that collection and I'd rather gift it to someone else who would really enjoy it. Um, Again, stuff is so expensive, so we we gotta we gotta stretch it out, right? And if we can share with one another, I think that's awesome. Um, now, this should be enough to fill up a flat rate box, but if it's not, I have a stack of purge papers that I will include. You will get a full box, I promise. Comment, join us. Thank you to everyone who donates, and I hope you have a blessed day. Good luck. Bye-bye. <laughs>